everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. And this is the Bible Reloaded back for another Chick Tract. This one yeah. coming to us from 1987 at the height of satanic panic. And Jack Chick, you know how he feels about Satan all the time. So you know that was like, man, his 80s must have been like everyone else's 70s. You know what I mean? Like everyone was super happy in the 70s doing drugs all the time, but in the 80s everyone was scared about Satanists, and that's like drugs to Jack. So anyway, Every, everyone was scared of Satanists. A lot of people look up Satanic Panic. It was a big no, thing. I, in no, pop I, culture. I know. I'm just saying, like everyone. Eh. I don't think my. I mean, my mom's pretty. Uh, she she buys into some stuff pretty quickly. Luckily, um, we're past all that, and now people just think Satanists hang out in pizza parlors, raping and eating children with Hillary Clinton. Anyway. Here's the hunter. I want more souls for th from this area. Not that area. This specific one. We've over-harvested. It's much like soybeans. Are you familiar with how soybeans work? Not particularly. No, I'm it's, not. It's basically the same way souls work. So okay. just, you know, take, take advice from one and put it into the other. Now you know how to do soybeans. Our slaves have not kept up their quotas. Nor have they with the souls. I'm just, okay, question. Yes. Uh, is it really fair to give slaves quotas because they're slaves? They uh... Ber Bertrand, we've talked about this. Give slaves quotas makes them feel like they're working towards something. I don't think they care. I Honestly, I told you, whips. I'm not saying it's humane. I'm saying it gets the job done. Whips? Okay? Why would we beat them? I'm we... No, no, no. I, I prefer to take a psychological approach to my abuse. That's why we give them gruel. Okay, I'm just saying, the American South only made it this far with a large chunk of the time involving slavery. Without right, the whips, I don't want... Stone Age. Abraham Lincoln's up in heaven. You know, I don't want to deal with that. Have you seen that guy? Yeah. He kills vampires, dude. Go tell those fucking humans I want results now. Or they'll learn what hell's about real, real quick. Yeah. Ask me how quick. How quick? Real quick. Oh. Yes, master! Oh, look, it's 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 Fu Manchu Lemon Grab from Adventure Time. Nice. Holy shit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Seven years dungeon, no trial. What? Oh, okay. What? I'm, surpri I'm surprised by this demon angel. What? Do you, I, where's my Oscar? I'm getting robbed like Leo, but times ten. Uh, okay, I got, I got, like, stuff to do, so the master is angry. Uh, you're, you're not getting enough souls. Uh, okay. Did you have to show up like this? I have a doorbell. I had it installed. Well, I'm gonna, okay. So he told me to come intimidate you. This is why I have, like, check out, check out this, like, weird look. It's not really a club. It's more like a big baby rattle. It looks a little bit like that. Gonna... It looks like the drum from Karate Kid 2 that they used to heal Daniel. Yeah, it's a cross between, it's, 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 it's a cross between a, a baby rattle and Karate Kid 2 drum All right, well, stick. But, you gotta. Uh, yeah. You gotta understand, this is a very difficult area to break into. Have you tried their doors? Uh, See, it works both ways, you just... Well, I would, but uh, honestly, the demographic in this area is a little tan for my liking. I'm a little afraid what will happen Hold if on. I go to the house. Shh, 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 shh. Is, is David Blaine in the area? Because there's a, there's a floating cup. Yeah, he, he hangs oh, out here shh, sometimes. No. no, 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 I don't. We have beef. Okay, no, just don't make any excuses. You can be replaced very easily. I will beat you with the baby rattle karate kid part two drum if you fucking if you fuck this up now I gotta I gotta bail out. I owe him twenty dollars and if and I swear he's gonna make it he's gonna pull it out of my eye socket or something. You know, one of those weird street magic things. He's gonna like spit it into my hand and a dove will fly out and then shit it onto my hand or something. I don't know. I, he freaks me out, dude. Alright, well uh No it, quiet. I guess I'll call a meeting then. Okay, thank you. The next evening, the master wants more new souls for his use. We've got to get them and fast or else. Any suggestions? Hey, I've got one. Don't, uh, why are you, why are you having a conversation with yourself? I, it's this guy's, I need it's to... It's not really a suggestion, that's an, that's an ask. I'm just saying, I need to get the conversation going, okay? He was very, in t he's a scary guy. Uh, but for some reason, he's afraid of David Blaine. I don't, whatever. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, is that... Is that blind George Lucas talking? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is... Okay. 
Uh, what's George Lucas sound like? Just depressed. Let's concentrate on our schools from grammar school on up. We'll really push our hunters. Hayden Christensen is a good actor. That should work. Those stupid kids will do anything to be cool, you know. So will I. That's why I made three prequels and then did the flippy lightsabers. Yeah. It didn't work. My wife left me and then all my creativity flew out the window along with our child. I don't know if he lost uh, custody. I don't. <laughs> We've got a problem with this particular school. A lot of straight kids go there and you know how I like the... Because I'm a, I'm a butch lady, so I love muff. Just want to wriggle my face around in a big old bushy muff. Get in my teeth. Arr, like it's like floss. The, the, rock, the rock freaks are... E- what? The rock? Like Dwayne Johnson the rock? Like rock and roll. Oh. oh. Uh, not going to lie to you. I was not being facetious. I was genuinely confused. Uh, the... They're ready to buy anything we want to sell. I have some... I save the corks from my wine bottles and make necklaces out of them. They're cork wine bottle necklaces. I'm thinking about selling those. I'm going to tell you right now, that Etsy store, not going to work out for you. No one wants that but shit. They, uh, they, they, I said that they would buy anything. Mm, I think your definition of anything needs to narrow a bit. Anyway... I have just the hunter for those straight kids. By the way, <laughs> when they say straight kids, Jack Chick Are... doesn't mean people who like vaginas when they have penises. Uh, he means people who don't use drugs or alcohol. For some reason, he's using straight. I don't know if in the 80s that was like a reasonable way to use that no, word. You misunderstand. There's gay Satan, there was that gay angel demon, and now there's this butch lady. They're all in cahoots. No, trust me. This one was not in the gay track section. Jack Chick does, doesn't know how words work. <laughs> He can really sucker them in and then cut them off. Okay, was... all that still sounds kind of homoerotic. A I'm little, but it's unintentional. It's old man homoerotic where they don't realize. Kurt is our star. He's the class vice president, captain of the football team, a good student, and he's pushing for a football scholarship. Uh, We could, we could take care of that for him, but uh, also I would like to maybe ask, why did we pick a person named Kurt? It sounds like, uh, it sounds like, uh, you know that stuff in the morning that's on your teeth? It's not really plaque, because you didn't eat. It sounds like what that stuff would be called. Uh, I gotta oh, go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta brush my Kurt off my teeth. Okay. Noted. He's a faithful member of the local church youth group, and he loves money. Is He's... he a Jew? No, nope. Church group. Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah. I was just, I was just, uh... I was just asking. Have you considered maybe we're a little anti-Semitic in this group Who's here? Who's we? Uh, this imaginary group, not Hugo and Jake. Right. Okay, of course. <laughs> <laughs> He's clean, no arrests, and doesn't use drugs. You know, as opposed to most high school students in the 80s who had huge records for thieving and doing hard drugs. Ah, hard drugs. My throat didn't work there for a second, and I feel like it ruined the moment, but... There it is, nonetheless. It really did. Like, I was erect. Just super soft now. Like, almost too much. I don't know if it'll it'll turn on again. But he doesn't mind pushing them for money. He's in the in crowd and a party animal, and I have his headshot for some reason. Oh, let me... Can I see that? Um, I'm... I'm... Okay, but I need it back. Like... Oh. And also, maybe don't... Don't touch it a lot. Okay, I'm going to lick this whole... I'm going to lick it. Salty, isn't it? It is It is particularly salty. Yeah, you got like a week's worth of protein in that lick. I'm going to let you know right now. Kurt plays up to the less popular kids and makes them believe he's their friend. Gets them hooked and then moves on. Also, look at my face. I look like Robert England now. Not Freddy Krueger. Robert England just has not aged very well. You look like angry Stan Lee. <laughs> Let him tell his quota must be tripled or he's dead. Also, Excelsior! If he pulls it off, he will be rewarded with looks Spider-Man like evil, comics. He looks like evil Doc Brown. One week after school starts. Hey, my name is Kurt. How are you? Are you new in town? Do you want to fuck? Um, 
yeah, I'm Jim. Uh, aren't you the captain of the football team? And also, did you ask if I wanted to fuck? Because it's 1987 <laughs> and gays aren't okay yet. No, no, no. Skip over that last part. It just it kind of comes out, you know? Uh, kind of like my dick. No? Well, that's, uh, no? Wow. Okay, no, no, no. Well, okay. I was just testing, you know, dipping a toe in the waters. It's fine. I'm more impressed but, that uh, you, you, I can tell you pull out your dick a lot because that was like... That was perfectly choreographed dick release. I'm almost <laughs> impressed. Like, I'm not going to suck it, but, like, I'm considering it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, a, I'm just a regular guy like anyone else, fellow student. Are you also in your mid-twenties and in high school? I mean teens? Uh, yeah, sure. I just, uh... Do you have first or second lunch, bro? Uh, Who second. is also a, a student here? Second. I have second lunch. Second, me too, I think. That's, what time does second lunch happen? 11.45. That seems late for a second lunch. Just, uh... Do they really do lunch that late? The first lunch is, er, that's not lunch, that's brunch. In high school, my fir- I had first lunch for a while and it was at 10.30. That is brunch. I'm just letting you know. Did you have mimosas? Nope, it was high school. So... I'll I'll see, I'll see you then, or I'll see you another time. All right. At wow. the same time. Wow, lunch with the big man. I call him the big man ironically because I just saw his perfectly average penis. Two days later, hey, look who's here. It's Jim, who is a student that I go to lunch with. Oh, hi, Kurt. Jimbo, Jim Dog, Jim and Jim and Jam Jams, the Jim Train, the Jimster. This is Bob. Do you want to have lunch with some of the guys? Yeah, sure. That would be cool, I guess. I guess I don't have any friends of my own. So, yeah, sure. Oh, good. How do you... Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, usually, um, we baby bird each other? Are you into that, or you just want to eat your own lunch? Um, am I to assume that baby birding is when you chew up the food and then spit it into someone else's mouth akin to a mother bird feeding a baby bird? Right, but don't, I can't tell if you want it unless you squawk, so yeah. Everyone just kind of pushes their food towards me. I chew it, and then I baby bird it into the squawking mouths of my friends. You know, I'm going to have... That's how, that's how humans work, right? I'm going to have to say no on this for right now. Hello. But I'm not closing the door completely. So some of the guys are uh, getting together at my place tomorrow night. Uh, and it may sound like we're having an orgy. We're not, unless you're into that. And then we're not not having an orgy. Okay, is this going to be like an eyes wide shut thing, or just a bunch of people getting sweaty and naked in a in an apartment? It's, because there is I, a difference. It's, no, it's exactly the same as eyes wide shut, minus the titties, minus the uh, artful shots, minus the mansion, minus the masks, minus Tom Cruise, but plus a Tom Cruise poster on the ceiling, minus the robes, minus the staffs. Minus that scene with the the billiard table. Minus Nicole Kidman's rage. Um, and then there's those Asian guys who bang that teenager. That movie was confusing. But it's basically the same thing. And, of course, Stanley Kubrick will be there. Well, his corpse. He's a dead person now, but we got it. I have we obtained ca- it. I'm not going to lie. Bucket list number seven. Fuck dead Stanley Kubrick. Big shiny. Oh yeah, fan. no, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm half cocked for that already. I, I came prepared. I don't think you make a clockwork orange if you're not ready to be fucked as a corpse. So, I consider that consent. Eight p.m. Come in, Patricia. It's party time. Don't worry. The parents are gone for the weekend. Kurt is waiting for you. Also, jelly bracelets and the Breakfast Club and Back to the Future. Part one. Part two doesn't come out for two more years. Yas. Hi. Uh, what about uh, 16 Candles? No. Fuck Molly Ringwald. Even in Breakfast Club, she's the worst part. Oh my god. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fuck that guy who's gonna be in the dead zone someday, though. Fuck him before he gets in the <laughs> dead zone. So when he touches <laughs> my vagina, he doesn't see all the dicks that went in it. This what? Is, I don't. It's a very specific oh, you have, to the do dead you have zone. Ghosts? If you have ghost s- dicks in your vagina, I don't. No, the dead zone. It wasn't ghost. It was just if he touched you, he could psychically see the past of certain objects or people or whatever. In this case, it's this 1980s oh. woman's vagina. See, I thought it was. I thought it was ghosts, no. but just dicks. Okay, 
Hey, uh, you guys made it. That's pretty awesome. That uh, That's great, because I invited you and expected you. So make yourselves at home. I mean, don't make yourselves at home is an expression. Like, don't, you don't get a room. Yep. You have to leave after. We, we understand colloquialisms. You can come on whatever you want, though. Hi, Kurt! Man, this is some party. I don't know what's going on with the back of my head right now, but, whew, it is bad. It's like I tried a mullet, but it's not even working for me. Do you want me to spot you, bro? I can comb that. Give, no. a, little, give a little spit shine. I, uh, I can comb my own hair. So. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, bros comb other bros' hair. You know, I don't think they do. No, it's like, uh, it's like when you have a puppy and you brush him. Except friends. I don't think that metaphor holds up. Hey, this this friendship's just getting started, Jimbo. Jim Bob Cooter. Just call Jim- me Jim Bob Cooter. <laughs> Jim Bob Cooter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, come on, relax, loosen up, take a puff on this, take your clothes off, pull your dick out, put a sock on it. Let me touch the sock. Well, I don't know about the the sock part, but I'll I'm gonna definitely need some pot to deal with this. So yeah, sure, I'll take a hit. <laughs> well, it's gay if we if I just touch a bear dick, but if you put if you take all your clothes off, put a sock over it, and then I jiggle the sock around until things happen in there, it's not, like, it's not gay at all. Okay, how about I put... Just a, that's just a man playing with a sock. Whatever happens to be inside the sock is of no consequence to the man playing with the sock. Okay, I'll meet you halfway. I'll put my hand on my dick, and then you can move my arm. No, that's... No, I don't... I'm not... I, I have a... Okay. I'm gonna level with you. I have an irrational feel of fear of puppets, and that's that's pretty much the same thing. Like, Elmo freaks me out, man. You're uncomfortable with Elmo, but you wanna you wanna sock diddle my cock. <laughs> it's totally different. I think sock diddle my cock is my favorite thing I've said in, in all month. I'll say all month. I'm not gonna say all time. <laughs> Hashtag pretty sock high... diddle my cock. I'm just saying I've set a pretty high bar for myself. So come on, Jimbo, don't be a square. Everybody's doing it. Look over there. Seriously. Literally everyone in here is doing that. This is very... Did you not notice? What? Where did all the... Uh, by the way, where did all the women go? I noticed they were at the front door, but I feel like... No, I, I kicked them out. They grossed me out, okay. too. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured something like that happened. I think I'm starting to get a, a, a hold of what your character is at this point, and... Uh... <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's just get through tonight. <laughs> Man- manipulative gang rapist, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, like a very care. No, it's not really. It's not a gang. It's not really rape. It's more like uh, coercion. I'd say he's like a professional group date rapist, if that makes sense. Like he's, he's like a pickup artist for orgies. Yeah, you're not a party pooper, are you? By the way, no. Because uh, all of us prepped for tonight, and uh, one drag on that primo, and you're gonna be mine and stuff. For all you youngins, we- primo was '80s for dank. So, right, and and for all you other youngins that may not understand, your mind means I'm going to make him my version of a free man that is also a prison bitch. What's in it? Oh, happy powder. It's a concoction of uh, uh, crystallized heroin, a little meth, some cocaine. We have a little marijuana, some tobacco, but like real tobacco, like it's organic. Got it from Whole Foods. Uh, I put a potato inside of that, and then I stuffed it inside of a duck, which I then stuffed inside of a turkey, which I then stuffed inside of a chicken. It's a it's a turducken joint. Can I just take a moment <laughs> to apologize <laughs> for everyone who has wasted their time watching this video up until now? Clearly, you're all going to leave now, and uh, I respect that. Thank you for sticking around so long. So... The rest of this is for our just own fuck, benefit. Just, just try it. Man, this is great stuff. Yeah, it is. Um, why is your friend looking at me like that? I don't know. He's got kind of a howdy doody face. So he. Uh... All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was, I was DTF for just about everyone in here, and then, but. Uh... Oh boy, he's he's not breaking eye contact at all. No, I think he has. That's... He, he's. I would say high-functioning autistic, but, like, whatever the opposite of that is, he, he way too much eye contact. I don't know what's going on. He hasn't blinked yet. Mm. Just one of those 
David Blaine Durance challenges? Or? Are you sure he didn't smoke this yet? No, he said he didn't want any. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's disconcerting. Let's have some fun. I just created a PCP cocktail. <laughs> PCP a- cocktail, which is a, co- oh, it's a drink with PCP in it. Kurt wants Bobby taken out tonight. Bobby, drink this. Okay. Plop, plop, bitch. See you later, Bobby. We're gonna we're gonna give you some PCP, and it's gonna immediately murder you instead of get you fucked up. Oh no! Oh, there's so much PCP inside of me. I'm a crazy person now. Poor baby, he can't handle it. He's freaked. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, Sherry, want some coke? Obviously, I want coke. Look at Bobby. He's so spaced out. Oh my god, guys. I'm like, God, I don't even, like, jelly bracelets. That's the second jelly bracelet reference. And, uh, (laughs) mesh shirts. Nice. Let's go to the mall and see Tiffany and other other 80s things. Is it a joke yet? Soft soft serve ice cream? Is a list the same as a joke? Because that's what I'm doing. I'm listing things. <laughs> Fucking 9.30 p.m. Who? What? Is that a man? Is that a... That, okay. I'll... Okay. All right. I'll be the guy who lives, obviously, in Martha's Vineyard. No, I think that's... That's... uh That's... Uh, what's his face? That's the character you've been. The blonde guy. It's just drawn terribly. Oh, is it? Yeah, because look, he's got the same... He's got the sweater on with the black tips that you can see. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm still gonna be him. Yeah. You wanna you wanna talk to Bobby? Uh, his his mom was in an accident. He isn't there now. What? He took off with some guys about an hour ago. Okay, that was a prank call. <laughs> guys, who's giving out this number? Guys, I did, I I ordered pizza. God damn! Which one did you order it from? Romeo's or Caesar's? Romeo's. We cannot trust the Greeks. How many times do I have to tell you, do not trust the Greeks? They make cheese from goats. I'm not even confident goats make milk. Anyways, take Bobby and dump him somewhere on the highway outside of town. What? Okay. Okay, I thought I was the good guy. Oh, no, I'm the demon guy. Never mind. Nope. Carry on. Take him to the highway. Okay, Kurt. Thanks, guy who looks sort of like Hugo. (laughs) <laughs> if I lost 50 pounds and wasn't a piece of shit. No. Big no. nose, though. Got that right. Emergency room, 2 a.m. Doug Cranston, I'm Dr. Stevens. Is this your brother? Yes, that's Bobby. What's wrong with him? We have to admit, Bobby, it appears he's having a very bad reaction to drugs of some sort. One month later. Doug, I called you into my office to talk to you about Bobby. Oh, thanks, Lando Calrissian. What you know, are we, uh, what are we going to do? I know it's 1987, but I keep having to point out to people that not every black person is Lando Calrissian. And honestly, it's getting pretty old. So, I mean, you're you're obviously Lando Calrissian. Nope. That's you not stole me. the Millennium Falcon. Nope. You betrayed Han and then tried to redeem yourself. Nope. I would not work. It didn't work, Lando. That's uh that's Billy D Williams. I would remember it if it were me. I would remember I would remember stealing the Millennium Falcon. And also, he didn't steal it. He used it to do the second Death okay, Star. Okay, then then you're Lionel Richie. Nope. that's I get that one a lot, too. You know, not every black guy with kind of a... No, and I, I do I even have a jerry curl? I don't know what's going on. Are you Lando Richie? Okay, just because that was my birth name and I changed it doesn't mean ha! it has any relevance ha! to the conversation. Nailed it. Nah, I win this round. All his insurance is gone. You'll have to admit him to a state mental institution for long-term care. His mind is gone. He'll never recover. This is terrible. Drugs are out of control, and what's happened to Bobby is happening everywhere. Yeah, do a lot of people do PCP? How many people in your life do you know that have done PCP? Seven. That's actually, that's more than, okay. You called my bluff. Checkmate, is the whole bitch. world Is the whole world going nuts? Yes, Doug, it is. Man's rebellion is getting worse, and when it reaches a certain point, and it won't be long now, God's going to strike back fast and hard, and those living on pl- I don't know. 
God's going. What to are you talking about? I was talking about this. The God is the planet. They're on drugs. Okay. Scared to death. All right. Just, just move on. Jesus mentioned this time, two thousand years ago. He said, "For then shall be great tribulation, suffering, as was not since the beginning of the world." To okay, this time. hold on. Wait, no, no, I gotta stop you. You just said he's he's been dead for two thousand years. Yeah. What What does Jesus have to do with it if he's been dead for two thousand years? You can say a lot of shit. Like I can say, ah, the fucking uh, it's t- the tides are gonna roll in and engulf Florida. That doesn't make me Nostradamus. It makes me lucky. It's fuck Florida. Well, he's God Almighty, Doug. He's the one that created the universe. Didn't you know that? No, I didn't know that. Why would I know that? I mean, you live in America. We established that by your brother's lack of health care. So well, no, I'm, I'm not, no, no. You misunderstand. I I'm an atheist. But like, you've heard of Jesus, right? Uh, no. Oh, well, this I, is a first. All athe- no atheists have ever heard of that. Oh, well, the Bible also tells us that all humanity is lost and on its way to hell. That's I don't why... even think hell is a thing, so. No, but it, it it is. Listen to me. It is. That's why Jesus left heaven, came to earth, the form of a man to save us all from hell by becoming a sacrifice for our sins. That doesn't really make any sense to me. Why wouldn't he just come in the form of like a, like a murder robot? Just kill all the non-believers. Like, I'm just saying, if Optimus Prime came down right now and was like, you know, fucking listen to me. Everyone would be like, all right, Optimus. I hear you out. But I'm not listening to some Jew. I can't uh, poke a hole in your argument. It's out. It's airtight, if I'm being totally honest. But can I finish my <laughs> spiel? So was he was he killed because he came down as a man instead of an Autobot? Okay, well, see, you have heard this story. But anyway, yeah, it was the greatest act of love that ever took place. <laughs> Doug, when I heard the gospel, I realized I was lost and that the only way the blood of Jesus could wash away my sins I jumped okay. at the chance to receive Jesus. I yeah. would have been a fool not to. I get. I hear you. Uh, but 100% you are Lando Calrissian. If it helps, yes, I'm Lando Calrissian. Nailed it. You see, Doug, I was a drug pusher at the time, and my world was falling apart. You know, Doug, drug pushers really work for what? Satan. They browbeat and push you to the limit, call you a square. They embarrass It really you hurts. And I'm not going to lie to you. When someone calls me a square... Or other geometric shapes, I it really cuts to the core of me. I think if we learned anything from this decade, though, it's that it is hip to be square. So kind of mixed messages, Jack. Uh, I'm confused why this person turned into a white mulleted trailer trash person. <laughs> yeah, the shading's a little off. <laughs> they embarrass you when you finally give in. People don't know this, but Satan was conquered by Jesus Christ at the cross. Yet somehow he's still able to... <laughs> He was conquered by Christ at the cross, but he can orchestrate street crime all across America in the 80s. That's why Nancy Reagan started D.A.R.E. to stop Satan. True story, my D.A.R.E. officer's name was Officer Wiener. That's good. Oh, God. I was, uh, actually, it's funny. I was on one of the, I was one of the last classes to get D.A.R.E. And it's, I don't know if there's some form of it now, but Mm -hmm. it's really been changed, I guess. Well, yeah, because yeah. everyone loves drugs. I uh, drugs I got the very awesome. traditional dare thing though, and it's fucking hilarious looking back now. Dare, oh yeah, dare does the opposite of what it's trying to do. Because if you tell kids, hey, pot is as bad as heroin, then when they try pot someday, they're gonna go, oh shit, dare lied to me about marijuana. Maybe heroin isn't so bad. Maybe, yep. like sex education, you should have comprehensive education that's honest to kids. And maybe kids aren't so stupid that if you explain why heroin is worse than pot, maybe they'll say, okay, as an adult, maybe I'll smoke some pot every now and then. But I'm not going to do heroin, okay? Don't do heroin, kids. Unless you really need it, I guess. I'm smoke not your... a lot of weed, though. <laughs> Just, I'm not your mom. In fact, everyone go out and please smoke heroin. I've heard it's fucking fantastic. So, just say it. Nothing that ruins your life that thoroughly can't not be great. <laughs> Jesus gives his true followers supernatural power from on high to stand against these creeps. Prove it. Prove it. David Blaine this cup. This trick. Look at look at the cup. Are you looking, looking at the cup? Are you looking at the cup? This trick took me 27 years to master. Did it? Ooh. Are you, are, David Blaine, are you ever happy? Happiness is an illusion. Satan knows Jesus is about to come back to take over the governments of the world. 
<laughs> so she, <laughs> not Jesus is just going to take over, but Christians don't like the Antichrist narrative because he's going to come over and create one world government. But when Jesus comes back and creates one world government, it's great. Okay. <laughs> and the devil knows he's going to lose. So the devil is doing his best to beat as many. So the devil is doing his, doing his, be what? So the devil is doing his beat to take as many to him with hell as he can. How does that sentence make sense? Is that supposed to be best? Devil is doing his best? Doing his beat? That, that sentence was so fucked up, it made you say, how is this sentence make sense? Like, <laughs> whatever. Anyway. That's why drugs are increasing everywhere. That's why the world's going nuts. Yeah, that's why. We are caught up in a gigantic spiritual war, and when it is over, Satan will have to admit Jesus is <laughs> Lord. Have you considered that maybe just drugs are fun sometimes? No, and, I have and, not. And making people think that they're the worst thing ever makes people want the, to do them more. Like, if you tell me not to do something, odds are I'm going to do the thing. You know what? I don't think that's true. Actually, I think you need to chill out. You want me to write you a prescription for some painkillers? Because you look like you could... Oh, yeah. No one out. gets addicted to opiates. That's yeah. fine. Doug, are you willing to receive Jesus as your Lord, Savior, and Master? I guess. I'm very convinced, according to the text above my head. <laughs> Last day of school. Listen, hotshot, next time I want cash. No more stalling, capiche? Can I say capiche now? I've seen good fellas. I ought to turn you in, you fuck nut. Uh, you could do better than that. Fuck nut. Uh, I ought to turn you in, you dick bag? Dick slut. Ass. Dick. Ass slut. Ass dick. Dick ass. Fuck. Fucko. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Fu fuck, fucko. Fucko? Well, I like fucko. Fucko. Yeah. I, I ought to turn you in, you fucko. But uh, you you really need me, though, Jimbo. Jimtacular. Jimtastic. Yeah, that's Jim cool. class. I need you, Kurt. Yeah, you do. Tell me how much you need me. Tell me how much you fucking need me, little slut. Could you not be in my ear like that? That's Tell something. daddy how much you need him. Mm, no. I've tripled my quota of straight kids hooked on drugs. Pretty soon there'll be fucking butts all over the place. Luckily I did it in a place where no one expects any gays. The Castro. But w one kid is threatening to turn me in, so... I want some pure stuff to take him out. Or a gun. We'll have it in your hands this afternoon. Keep up the good work, Kurt! Hey, Jimbo, I'm leaving tomorrow, so here's a little going away present for you. It's, uh, it's, uh, just shoot it into your arm. <laughs> yeah, it's I know how it works. No, it's, it's Clorix. Oh, that sounds safe. Far out, man. Hey, I need a fix real bad. This is cool. It's been real nice knowing you, kid. May you rot in hell. Then, uh, whatever noise it sounds like when you cook, cook drugs in a spoon... And then Jim uh, is murdered by the hunter and moves into another dimension. <laughs> okay, did Jack Chick also shoot some Clorix when he did this? Hell is he apparently in a dimension. All right, fine. A dimension. Jack. Goodbye, Kurt. You've done a super job for us. We know you'll do well in college. My friends will be in touch with you. Hey, look at Kurt's new car. Wow. Does everyone like my flock of seagulls haircut? I'm pretty sure I this, like it. It's gonna be the new thing. I like thing. it. No, it's it's pretty great. This will never go out of style, guys. I think like in 30 years, I'm gonna be a trend center. So uh, thanks for uh, giving me that hot shot uh, scholarship there, uh, uh, trench coat Stan Lee bow tie guy who also has kit and gave me a vanity plate with Kurt written on it. I don't understand this this shot. Also, my uh, my forearm is it's like I. It's like I had an arm transplant from the elbow down with Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> in the dimension of hell. Hi, hotshot. Welcome to the in crowd. Because you're going to be here forever. Wait a second. That didn't make sense. Hold on. Welcome to the in crowd because you're in hell. Oh, that's a much better line. Jesus. Maybe you should write chick tracks. You're better at it. <laughs> what? My, my 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 gay devil is is kind of like David S. Pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. 
You can thank your old buddy Kurt. It's not so cool in here, is it, Jimbo? Oh, good for the devil. Got those dad jokes ready. All those I, temperature I puns. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Is that Hayden Christensen? I I doubt it. I doubt it. Oh, so I should I should have I should have played this much more sad. <laughs> that's and that's not just how he acts. He's just sad now because his career is the career of Hayden Christensen. So. And the, and the sand gets everywhere. I hate them. <laughs> and then you star in Jumper, and uh, it's yeah. better. It's better than being uh, that one kid in the first movie, Jake something. Ooh, Jake Long. Yeah, he had a rough no, time. Not Jake. Not Jake Long. What? No, Jake. Uh, now I gotta look it up. It's Jake Long. No, I Jake. Look. I think Jake Long was the no, American no, Jake, dragon. No, Jake Long was the number one overall pick, left tackle from the University of Michigan. That's not Jake Long. That's not where I got that though. Yep, he was. That was the name of Disney Channel's cartoon, American Dragon. The character's name was Jake Long. I knew I wouldn't oh. have gotten sports ball information from somewhere. Very different. Anyways, and now I got to look up the kid from episode one. Jake Lloyd. Lloyd, you were close. I was close. Yeah, he has uh, actual mental issues, which are yeah, exacerbated by how much people bug him about being Anakin in episode one. He's so, a crazy person. As much as you can say, yeah, people who say George Lucas ruined their childhood are drama queens. George Lucas did l ruin at least one childhood and adulthood, and it was Jake Lloyd, because he has he has some serious mental issues now. Yeah. The only yeah. thing I like about uh, The Phantom Menace is uh, the fight scene with Darth Maul where Qui-Gon dies, spoilers, and <laughs> the pod race sounds. Not the pod race, the sound effects. I would enjoy the I would enjoy the pod race if it were about half as long. I saw a really good edit of uh, all three prequels smashed into one, and it's like two and a half hours long, and it's I think it's yeah, and, and it starts with the Darth Maul fight. Yeah, I've seen that one too. It's, it's still not great, great but it's better well, than it's, what we got. Well, okay, you're right. It's not great, but it's great compared to what like considering what they had to work with. Yeah, I God damn. That first, I a lot of people pointed this out, but like you don't have to see episode one and two to watch episode three. Episode three is the only one of the prequels that is even bearable to watch. Like it's still not a good movie, but it's watchable. The only, the only part I like about that though, because it like uh, all sorts of shit. I like Obi Wan, but the 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 Vader fight at the end is is the cool part. Uh, I think it goes on too long and it's too. Well, okay, I agree, the but the the end is cool. Yeah, that's fine. God damn! I'm so glad George Lucas isn't at the helm of that anymore. Only a couple more weeks until Rogue One, and I'm very excited. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this show at all. So you can always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. Follow Hugo, Hugo, Hugo Reloaded if you want more of that conversation. I guess subscribe to Unpop, which is a thing. There will be a button at the end of this episode. You stick around. Sure. It'll be in the last 20 seconds. You can skip forward right now. Go for it. <laughs> subscribe also to that channel. You can also subscribe to this channel, and if you want to help support the show, you can always donate to our Patreon. We do a once a month patron-only hangout, which is a lot of fun, and also, on top of that, if you want, we do sort of a monthly loot crate deal, uh, where you get different stuff every month. Five dollars gets you signed chick tracks, like this one, but physical and with our signatures. Uh, ten dollars gets you buttons and stickers, fifteen gets you 3D pop dolls made of high-quality paper stock, and, uh, of course, you get all the levels below your own. So, check that out if you're interested. If not, you could have left by now. So, until next time, I'm Hugo. And I'm sick. And click all the buttons. There's buttons. Click them. Click them.